two needs sir of storage capability is there for water so 220 bcm is there for india and compared to that of the previous pre independent era construction of 4000 dams and having 220 <coughs> mcb is very easy and uh, it is very thing laudable also in one point of view but when comparing to that of egypt egypt is very small egypt is very small in population population distribution need emergence and in provincial status also but still they are having 120 for them they are having 120 means we should have at least six times more that is 720 comparing to that of two nations one china is having equal populace equal consensus and equal development equally democratic i just said asian competitor they are having 600 so the million cubic productivity for this china that is the bcm level that is 600 whereas for the smallest country in other comparable standard it is 120 so this 220 for india is something very very uncompromisable so now for 2020 i know that uh, 2020 it has no practical dawn or light as that word 2020 sounds to be very melodious and rhythmic everybody is pointing for 2020 it is not based on your person's confidence level. It is not based on a clear way of assessment of your person's productivity ratio. It is not based on calculative, arithmetic, progressive study, logistic study, statistic, or statistical studies. It is just based on your rhythm. Everybody was saying about 2000 before uh, 30 years. You may be knowing 2000. At the year of 2000, you will be having agricultural development, bank reforms, economic reforms, computer to all. Everything they were quoting 2000 because it is a round figure 2000. Huh? Like that, February 2, 2002, everybody was saying that the miracle is going to happen. Nothing happened except uh, getting SMS from all people that it is 2002. Huh? Like that, 2020, they are planning for 200 more billion cubic units of storage capability. So, our billion capability is going to be improved from 220 to 420 as expected in 2020. So this is something which they are connecting with these people. What we can do in flood management is we have to get a special institute like we are having institute for hydrology, hydro power resources, hydro statistics, hydrodynamics, oceanography like that we used to have a special design either getting a training from most advanced countries like uh, UK, US, etc., where Thames has been well governed, Mississippi is under control as well as management. There we have to get a specialized training. Also, there is a possibility if some Indians out of their own inherent Indianized knowledge, if they sit and work out with normal civil engineering and infrastructure management skills, totally having a commitment for five years, they can do wonders. They can bring pride to India without having a technology transfer guidance or training from other countries. It should be made out. The second thing is drought, that is the other extreme end. If this is this extreme end, that is the other extreme end. It is total uncontrollability. It is total non-availability or insufficient availability. For that, there are some measures. Gradually, now with the development of uh, the Indian Meteorological Department, they are having some sort of uh, prediction or prognostication or climate weather forecasting methods are there by which they can say that the monsoons, whether they have come or not, or they are going to come or not, they are going to shift or not, what is the angle of diversion or postponement or mitigation or collision, what we call aerial collision in which the monsoon collides without coming here. So there are 10 possibilities. It can collide, it can allied, it can divert, it can be mitigated, it can be maximized, it can be turbulently charged or it can be totally nullified, it can be postponed, it can be advanced. These possibilities are there. The problem with the meteorological department is they cannot select a single possibility from these 10. They will say that all possibilities are possible and we have to experience and say which is true after the thing happens. <laughs> that is the problem with the Indian meteorological department. Now they are given a lot of reports. Now the problem with the drought is about three reasons. One is the natural water retention capability of earth has been degraded. There are three re regional problems. One is an absolute problem or an universal problem. Second is a zonal or specific problem. Third is an interconnective problem which is based on usage and other resources. So one is artificial based on usage, exploitation, etc. Second is the land structure, the groundwater table and other structural systematic uh, levels that exist in the particular area. Third is universal components like the climate change, like uh, monsoon change or rainwater non-harvesting or over exploitation these things are very much concerned with the whole globe so it may be a universal problem it may be a specific problem it may be application problem of the particular people located in the country
So for example, before uh, two or three years, they have given a report. For 2006, they have given a report of 286, 286 MMC, they have given the report. For which, actually they have to get uh, this 292 for three things. Water is meant for portability, second is for agricultural irrigation, third is for extra domestic and uh, industrial usage, and fourth is for some other development utilities like uh, hydropower, electricity and other things. So, water has innumerable usage levels. So, whatever they have predicted for 292 has come only to 286 with a deviation of 1, minus 1. And uh, this meteorological classification, there are divisions and subdivisions for meteorological classifications. For India, there are 36 divisions of meteorological classifications. Out of which uh, 10, 10 people or 10 subdivisions, uh, they have reported deficit. And 26 other people, they have reported excession or normality. So meteorological predictions, uh, they are having three things. No standard, stable, reliable predictions are being made, number one. Mere predictions cannot come for help without proper drought management, number two. Number three, simultaneously you cannot govern both the beneficial and maleficial works. Simultaneously doing drought management by rainwater harvesting and other things. Simultaneously exploiting. When we are having, you see pressure is different from compression. We were having gentle pressures by means of uh, the wells that we have been using that has gradual natural oozing of water which is uh, inbuilt in the pore system of the earth itself. Second thing, we were having hand pumps. Now, the compression, the engines that we are using, by means of this hyper compression, even the storage water, you might have heard of a story, wherein by the golden egg giving duck, the belly will be cut off by a person thinking that he can get more eggs. How would it be possible? The ground table water, or the third level of water, the first level of water is for plant nourishment. Second level of water is for human contribution. Third level is just like the radiator inside an engine which is meant for earthly functions on further water multiplication. It is known as hydro multiplication or it is the hyper elasticity principle of nature by which it reserves something not for itself for giving you more. Even if by your hyper compression methods if you get more water thinking that you are getting absolute fertility, the future possibility of hyper multiplication of water sources and distributions will be totally drained and made dry so that you will get into drought. So these type of artificial manipulations and mismanagements of water contributing along with the pollution, climatic uh, change and uh, the global warming alerts, we are suffering into drought. We need a total plan and the change will take at least 30 years because the problem has occurred and it has started before 200 years. Industrialization area, <coughs> whenever we have started the industrial revolution, that started also the revolution of the environmental pollution. So it is a revolutionary for environmental degradation also. We have contributed 44,000 million tons of carbon by industrial development to the natural earth, mother earth, to the ether, to the great ozone, by which the natural bounty shower of the earth has been prevented, instead of which we are getting, if you just get into the breast of a cow and just to charge the nipples, you will get milk. So instead of getting a gentle milk by just caressing the nipple, if you are countercharging the same cow with a knife, you will get only blood, not milk. So now we are getting what? The blood of nature. We are not getting the milk of nature. That is a problem. And there must be a global renaissance. There must be a global awareness. Like there are all universities, all rural people. We are all people with coat, suit and tie. There are a lot of rural people without shirts who are doing the mistakes and victimized by the mistakes. So victims and victimized by the mistakes are there abundant in number in rural and tribal areas, deep in ignorance, subservience and untold miseries. They have to be taught and renaissance should be brought from that period onwards. And our duty is to prepare a module and a systematic syllabus as well as a team for imparting this knowledge to all of these people. That is a drought. So apart from beach, I want to also say about one type of drought in which apart from human beings, other livestock, they are affected. It has been made into a very great scrutinizing research by two people. One person is known as Dr. Angel and second person is Dr. Redfran. These two people, they have made a research on grace management. Grace management and introduced forage which is not developing in India now. It is known as grace management. How to make these other subhuman species to survive in drought? So we have to learn three things. One is drought survival. Second is drought management. Third thing is drought control treatment or getting the natural bounty by methods. Pipeline project, storage devices, moisture harvesting societies, rain harvesting societies. These things are for <coughs> other development sources at the time of drought. Second thing is drought control is minimal use of water. 
proper use of